Good morning. Today is Thursday, March the 2nd, and our lesson this morning is Test the Spirits. And our lesson is coming from 1 John, the 4th chapter, the first verse through the 6th. And the scripture lesson text reads, Beloved, believe not every spirit, but try the spirits, for that they are of God, because many false prophets are gone out into the world. Hereby know ye the Spirit of God. Every spirit that confesses that Jesus Christ is come in the flesh is of God. And every spirit that confesses not that Jesus Christ is come in the flesh is not of God. And this is that spirit of Antichrist, whereof ye have heard that it should come, and even now already is, it in the world. Ye are of the of God, little children, and have overcome them, because greater is he that is in you than he that is in the world. They are of the world, therefore speak they of the world, and the world heareth them. We are of God, he that knoweth God heareth us. He that is not of God heareth not us, where hereby know we the spirit of truth, and the spirit of error. If we use this guideline to know and to try out the, the different religions, this here helps in determining those that believe in Jesus Christ. If they do not believe in Jesus Christ, they cannot be saved. He said we must come by Jesus Christ. I'm going to read you a passage from our uh, Believer's Bible commentary. He said, having mentioned the Holy Spirit, John is reminded that there are other spirits abroad in the world today and that the children of God need to be warned against them. Thus he cautions the believer not to trust every spirit. The word spirit here probably refers primarily to teachers, but not exclusively so. Just because a man speaks about the Bible, God, and Jesus does not mean that he is a true child of God. We are to test the spirits whether they are of God, because many false prophets have gone out into the world. These are people who profess to accept Christianity, but teach another gospel altogether. John gives the actual test by which these men are to be proven. The great test of a teacher is, what do you think of Christ? Every spirit that confesses that Jesus Christ has come in the flesh is of God. It is not so much the confession of the historical fact, namely that Jesus was born into the world in a human body, but rather it is the confession of the living person. Jesus Christ come in the flesh. It is the confession that acknowledges Jesus as the Christ incarnate. And confessing him means bowing to him as Lord of one's life. Now, if you ever hear a person pre presenting the Lord Jesus as the true Christ of God, you will know that he is speaking by the Spirit of God. The Spirit of God calls on men to acknowledge Jesus Christ as Lord and to commit their lives to him. The Holy Spirit always glorifies Jesus. And every spirit that, go, that does not confess that Jesus Christ has come in the flesh is not of God. This is how you can detect the false teachers. They do not confess that, that, confess that Jesus who was described in the previous verse, this is the spirit of the Antichrist, which has been prophesied and which is now already in the world. There are many today who are willing to say acceptable things about Jesus, but they will not confess him as, G as God incarnate. They will say that Christ is defined but not that he is God. Humble believers are able to overcome these false teachers 
because they are, have the Holy Spirit within them. And this enables them to detect error and refuse to listen to it. The false teachers are of the world and therefore the source of all that they speak is the world. The world that they speak is the world, is the spring of all they teach, and therefore the world hears them. This reminds us that the approval of the world is not a test to the truthfulness of one's teaching. It is a man simply, if a man simply wants to be popular, all he needs to do is to speak as the world speaks. But if he is to be faithful to God, then he must face the disapproval of the world. In verse 6, John speaks as representing the apostle. He says, we are of God. He who knows God hears us. This means that all who are really born of God will accept the teaching of the apostles found in the New Testament. On the other hand, those who are not of God refuse the testimony of the New Testament or they seek to add or adulterate it. Those that want to pull down and bring down the New Testament and leave it behind, those are the ones that do not believe in Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior. And those are the ones that's not willing to change to be saved. I pray that you meditate on this lesson today. And y'all have a wonderful and blessed day.